Hey doc, my name is Jeff Langmaid, founder of The Evidence-Based Chiropractor, and today I wanna talk about how you can create a chiropractic logo for your practice that can stand the test of time and perhaps even last your entire career. We are gonna go through the three key things that you need to keep in mind as you go through that process to make sure you get the result you desire. Now, whether you are a new doc just starting out or maybe a doc who's getting ready to rebrand your practice, deciding on a logo can be one of the most intense times in anyone's practice. You want to make the right decision. You want to make sure it's going to be something that you can be proud of and that's going to last as long as possible because in theory, the branding and logo of your practice is going to be on every piece of marketing material that you get out to the people in your community. And that's why it's so important to do it right the first time. But there are three key things that you can keep in mind as you go through your process to make sure, again, you get a fantastic logo that you can be proud of. And number one is look out and keep an eye out for clean design. So make sure that your logo is not too intricate. This is a common problem I see with a ton of chiropractic clinics, especially when you want to incorporate a spine. When you get small, when that image gets small, and you try to get it into the top of a paper or you try to get it very small on a shirt, it just becomes a blurry mess. Keep in mind that clean design enables your logo to be seen very quickly and very easily. If you think of some of the biggest companies that you know, Nike has the check or the swoosh, McDonald's is the M, Google is the G. There is very clean aesthetic design where it does not get messy, it does not get blurry, really regardless regardless of how it is utilized. So clean design is number one. Number two is make sure that you can break apart the image and the text. So a lot of times you might have a brand name for your practice and then a small icon up above it combined, the text, the name of your practice, and the icon combined to form your logo. Be sure that you can break those apart. And when I say that, I mean this. Oftentimes, depending upon how you want to utilize your logo, if the logo is too tall or too wide, you can become jammed into, again, a sloppy final product. But when you can take the little icon and maybe move the words to the left, move the words to the right, or keep it centered and balanced, it gives you the opportunity to utilize your exact branding, your logo, your icon on all your merchandise, all of your marketing materials without having to compromise on aesthetics. And when we're talking about logo, when we're talking about branding, it's all about aesthetics. So make sure that you can break up the words and the little image or icon so you can utilize it again with all of your marketing channels. And finally, number three, make sure that it matches your branding, your aesthetic of the clinic that you are practicing in. If you have a clean, modern inside of your practice, make sure that that logo is clean and modern. This simplifies the process and friction for consumers or future patients. Consequently, if you have a rustic office, don't hesitate to go rustic with with your logo. There's still ways to make that look clean and make it look beautiful, but keep in mind that the branding, the aesthetic, and even the colors of your logo should very much mirror what people are going to see, what they're going to experience when they come into your practice, when they receive something via email, whether they go in and it's on your website, Everything should be unified because that is what establishes branding, is the unification of that message. And your logo is a great place to start with all of that branding moving forward. And a fourth bonus tip for you is be sure when you have a designer, whether it's Fiverr or whether it's an independent designer, you have that logo made for you, make sure that you get one copy without the background, right? Because I've seen too many practices where they have a nice, beautiful logo and it's just on white and they're trying to use it on something that's not white for a, a, a paper or a shirt, and it's a white square with a logo on top of it. So there are plenty of programs where you can do it cleanly and easily, but while you're at it, ask your graphic designer, whether on Fiverr or whether a private designer, be sure to have them exclude the background on at least one of those images so you can take that and move forward across all of your marketing materials. So in short, Creating a logo, creating your branding is some of the most important things that you can do as you establish your practice and also as you grow and evolve. But keep in mind, clean design wins the day. Be sure that the image 
the icon and the text you can separate and move around and also keep an eye out for your logo, your branding, matching the aesthetic and feel of your office. Those quick tips will get you 99% of the way there. And if you love to share, I'd love to see your logo and I'm happy to provide any feedback as well. Drop them down in the comments below. I'll take a look and I'll answer any questions that you may have. Hope you have a great day.